when I'm fishing this shadow wrap, I'm gonna make a long cast usually. You know, I wanna keep that bait in the water as long as possible and get it through as many strike zones and in front of as many fish as possible. So I'll make a cast and I'll let the bait sit just for a second. I'll make a couple quick twitches with the rod to get that bait down and get the action started and then I'll just let it sit. And it's really important to have a little bit of slack in your line. That's gonna allow that bait to dart side to side. And the way you do that is when you jerk your rod, you throw the rod tip back at it. So it's a jerk and you throw it back. And sometimes real little jerks will trigger that strike. And one of the things I'm always doing with this bait is I'm varying my retrieve. And I, I wanna find the cadence that works, but I'm never not throwing a pause into this bait when I'm working it. That's a real big trigger on this bait. So general rule of thumb, the colder the water, the shorter my twitches. Real gentle little twitches, but always throwing that pause in. The warmer the water, the more erratic my twitches, but always that pause. And that pause, nine times out of 10, is when that fish is gonna bite the bait. Real important. You know, a couple little tricks with the shadow wrap, and the one is, is what I call a micro twitch. And this is a real great retrieve when the water's real cold. So many people get in the habit of these hard jerks, but when that water gets cold, I don't want that bait moving a lot. So I make that cast, and if you watch my tip, I just kind of shake it. It's almost like you're worm fishing or drop shot fishing. And I shake it, and then I let the bait stop. And I shake it, and I let the bait stop. And that's a real great technique because every time you're shaking it, that bait's just doing these little tiny twitches. And then on the pause, it fades off. That's one real big one. Uh, the other one is to count your pauses and find out the pause they want. So about every five casts, I'll change my cadence and I'll count my pauses. So the first cast, I might count to three and I'll do that for the first five casts. If that doesn't work, my next five casts on the pause, I'm going to count to five. I'll count to seven, I'll count to 10 until I get that first bite. And once you get that first bite, then you can duplicate it. So be very conscious of the amount of time between your pauses.